The Republican-led committee headed by Representative Jim Jordan was able to subpoena testimony about the criminal prosecution of former President Donald Trump and Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg agreed Friday night to drop his appeal of that decision. The two sides reached an understanding that permits Mark Pomerantz, a former prosecutor, to be deposed next month with an official from the district attorney's office in attendance. By successfully requesting a stay of the subpoena, we were able to prevent the immediate deposition and buy ourselves the time we needed to negotiate a deal with the House Judiciary Committee that safeguards the district attorney's rights and interests. We are happy with this resolution because it guarantees that any interrogation of our former employee will take place in front of our general counsel on a reasonable predetermined timeline, according to a statement from the Manhattan District Attorney. The resolution was also confirmed by a Jordanian spokesperson. The Manhattan District Attorney's Office retracted its appeal in the case of Bragg v. Jordan this evening. We anticipate Mr. Pomerantz's appearance at the deposition scheduled for May 12, said Russell Dye, a representative for Jordan. Less than two hours before it was scheduled to start, a federal appeals court on Thursday issued an administrative stay, temporarily preventing Pomerantz's deposition by the House Judiciary Committee. A federal judge on Wednesday rejected Bragg's request to block the congressional subpoena, giving Jordan the victory. Bragg had sought to do so.